In this video, we're going to service the nose strut. I'm gonna put some fresh fluid inside the oleo. After a couple years of service, the fluid gets kind of dirty and I was just getting ready to change the fluid anyway. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Uh, what you'll need is a clean jug, clean hydraulic fluid, piece of quarter inch clear vinyl hose, a valve core removal tool, some napkins, and if you're a messy person, you might want to put a drip rag or drip pan down below there. First thing we're going to do is going to come over to the top of the strut. Right here, find your valve. And what we want to do before we take out the valve core, we want to release the air pressure so that's free, and then we'll take out the valve core. So start by releasing the pressure. And then take your tool and remove the core. Take the core out. We'll put the core aside. I'm just gonna put it down here in my uh, drain pan. Okay, so now once the core is removed, take your clear vinyl tube, and sometimes there's better ways to get to this than others. Essentially, we're gonna put this piece of tube over the see it that way so here's the here's the tube we're gonna shove the tube over the top of the valve okay so that's secure there and then we're gonna run the other end into our refuse bucket so the oil that first comes out of here is gonna be kind of nasty so the point is we're going to change that. So see if I can ship, show both here. So take the strut, the hose connected. We're just going to exercise the strut. We're gonna compress the strut. And then that'll fill if you look at this. Looks like chocolate milk. Compress it all the way, and really there should be a lot more fluid in there than that. So the fluid's leaked out, could be seals. But we'll exercise this a couple times. Goal is we wanna push out all that dirty stuff. We're gonna do an oil change, essentially. So once you've got the fluid exhausted, pretty dirty, not that much in there. Then we're gonna remove the, we're gonna switch the tube into our fresh clean fluid. I've got another pint or quart here. Uh, the stuff gets dirty kind of quick, so the stuff I'm gonna end up putting in there as a final product will be, um, pretty clean, but we're gonna exercise it with some clean fluid to kind of flush out the strut. So with the compressed tube in the hole, we're gonna just drop that strut, and that's causing a suction in the tube, go up, and then fill up into the, the top of the strut there. So we're gonna do that a couple times. We're just gonna compress the strut, extend the strut while the, the end is in fresh clean fluid. The idea here is to flush out all the dirty stuff of the strut and put some 
fresh stuff in. So as to not contaminate our fresh stuff. Just kind of keep going back and forth between the clean fluid it's okay if you get air bubbles in there we will uh as we exercise this that'll bleed most of those out okay so that one's done let's open a new bottle back into the wasted oil and compress it again there's that fresh food we put in there it's all kind of dirty again got a little pink color to it Gonna do this a bunch of times with clean fluid. Fresh man. Extend the strut. You can see the line, the level in here going down as it's drawing it in. Once the level stops there, and switch our jugs. Compress the strut again. More dark, nasty chocolate milk. So I do this about a half a dozen times. And you'd have to do a whole lot of times to get it completely clean. But each time we go through, we swap between the refuse or the old stuff, the fresh. Said we're doing an oil change on this so we essentially want as clean a fluid as we can going back in can see the fluid is starting to be considerably cleaner now. This is like the third rinse.
each time going between I just try to drain as much as we can out of the tube so all the dirty stuff's in the bin last little bit out of there and then the final time we're gonna take extend the strut once let that draw all that clean fluid in and once this stops so the next point is to set prep the the cylinder for compression so we're gonna squeeze a bunch of it out we're not gonna compress it completely we're gonna probably leave it maybe a half inch in the compress then we'll put the air core valve valve in and then we will uh, recharge the cylinder with fresh nitrogen okay so when we go to compress this the last time we're going to need our valve core tool valve core tool valve core now the trick with this is when we compress it we i don't want it to bottom out right against the the landing gear the strut um the housing so We'll compress it. We'll leave maybe a half inch in there where it's not actually hitting that. That way, if you lose all of your air charge, you're not just slamming the fork up into that. So we'll leave a little bit of a cushion there with fluid. But so the trick with this is when we go to compress the strut, we've got to pull off the our line from the top of the strut and then put the valve core in while keeping this elevated if we let this drop as we exchange that fluid or the line the fluid line you'll start drawing an air right at the um right where your connection is there so we're going to compress the strut we got to keep a little bit of pressure on the strut so when we break this here we're not going to draw air right back into the the fitting on the strut so this is the challenging part especially if you're working by yourself Um, what you can do kind of as a cheat is use a floor jack so what I'm gonna do since I'm working by myself I'm gonna put a floor jack under here to lift it just so I can set it where I want it and then I can free up my hands to undo the connection for the hose. All right, so here's my floor jack I'm gonna position that under the fork we're not trying to jack the airplane we're just lifting the, the strut up so it'll compress and then we don't have to hold it. There the struts going in. So at this point, you now if we go any more compression, we're going to start touching. So there, got about half inch. So now if we're looking at our level here, it's not pulling in air, it's not moving it. So while this is in the compressed mode and that's holding that, we're going to take our tube off of the hose and then we're going to install our valve core tool. So, it's right here, we're gonna pull our hose. We may get some drainage, so. Pull that off, and do my other hand. still compressed I'm 
reinstall your valve core. Now we got the valve core installed, we can remove our jack. And next we'll bring over the nitrogen bottle and then we'll service the strut with fresh nitrogen. Okay, so now we've got our air nitrogen bottle hooked up. Take the regulator out. Open the valve, and we're just gonna add some pressure till that extends. There you go, there's your extension. It took about 150 pounds or so. And then when we're done, we'll disconnect our air, and then once I put no the weight on the nose, I'll bleed that off up there to the proper extension and on the turkey six the nose strut should be three and a half inches so when the weight's on it we'll bleed that off up there at the the valve air or the valve core and we'll bleed enough off so this is extended to three and a half inches so next i'll put all the wheel on put that back on then we'll put it on the ground and finish the video all right so at this point we've lowered the aircraft onto the weight of the wheels it's off the jacks so we can see here we got a pretty sizable extension so all we're going to do now is um just go back to the valve core and we're just going to bleed it a little bit and we'll do that just a couple times till we get it to the right don't do a lot because a little bit goes a long way about four and a half inches so we got to bleed it a little bit more it's easier to bleed more than to add more so don't take out any more than you need you can always add you can always bleed out more but it's more difficult to fill so you gotta put your bottle and stuff back up Good. Service strut. And we'll go through and wipe it down so it's nice and clean.